Hi, my name is Brian Caver, a.k.a. Crazy Quake. My family is originally from Alabama. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, came to California in like 67 and uh, been here ever since. Actually between 64th and Gage in San Pedro. And that's the area I grew up in and, uh, you know, started my life with gangs and all of that. You know. What was the racial makeup? The it was time? predominantly black. It was predominantly black over there, uh, you know, with, it might have been a couple of Hispanic families, but, you know, just, it was predominantly black. For the OGs that did a dime, came back around on parole. Uh, For the homegirls with the scrap game, yeah. little homies that gang bang. From Pelican Bay to YA, rearrange your mind frame. Yeah, I know what you've been through. What, what gangs or social clubs was over there when you was growing up? When I was growing up, you had uh, Slossers, um, you know, uh, the experts, East Side experts. Um, so I met some Panthers there when I first first moved over there and came from Alabama. Now, did the Crips have any connection to the Panthers? Of course. See, the Crips basically was formed as a group to uh, help combat the, the police brutality that was going on in the community because of the Panthers was, was drawing so much heat from the feds and so forth. They tried to, you know, formulate a neighborhood watch type of situation where we were trying to uh, you know, combat the, the brutality that was going on in our community. So Raymond's ideology has something to do with the following other Panthers? Yes, it did. Yes, um, you know, like I said, we, the groups were formed just for that purpose, to protect the communities, you know. When did you first meet Raymond Washington? I met Raymond Washington somewhere in the mid-70s. Yeah, mid-70s. So that was after he got out of prison? Yes, it was. Uh, and then when he comes home from prison, how did he feel about how all the gangs splintered into their own neighborhoods? Well, I mean, you know, he, he understood that, you know, without without guidance that things like that happened, you know. He didn't, he didn't particularly like it, but, you know, he was one man and he couldn't do nothing. You know, he couldn't do a whole lot about it. So, you know, he... He uh he approached us and said, you know, we were a group. Like we all lived in the same neighborhood, six dudes, six eight and six nine. And we all went to school together but we were separate. And so he suggested that we form we come together and, and unify and become one one neighborhood. And he suggested uh, East Coast, so we became East Coast Crips. So it was Raymond's creation, the East Coast Crips. Yes it was. What about eight nine? Eight nine was we had some dealings with them uh, prior to prior to turning East Coast, and uh, they came we in willingly because we were already, you know, we were already social associating with each other. Is that where you guys get the neighborhood from? Yeah, neighborhood came from the eight nines. Uh, yeah, basically, basically, yeah, that's where neighborhood came from. What, you know what year that was? Eight nine came into play. <laughs> that was. I would like to say that between the beginning of the 70s. Okay. Uh, and what year was that that Raymond suggested you guys turn East This coast? was like 70, 78, somewhere like that, 78. Yeah. Um, now give me a little bit about Six Deuce. When did Six Deuce start? The Six Deuce was, uh, here's the thing, man. You know, I, I can say, you know, I'm an OG from there, but I wasn't the original Six Deuce. Because they were six dudes formulated down on the other side of our neighborhood, down on 62nd and Broadway, with Bubble, Sad, Limes, and uh, Casper, and all them cats. You know what I'm saying? I was living up on San Pedro. You know, and that's we had our own little thing. We was, you know, running around. We was East Side, but we hadn't joined up with the six deuces yet. And uh, so 
Bug them came up. As a matter of fact, we used to have little classes with each other at, a, at our youth center. The youth center was on uh, 59th and Wall. And we used to have little classes until, you know, like, hey, we all from the same neighborhood. We see each other all the time. So uh, what Bug came up was, was messing with, she was my cousin. Then, what year was that? That was uh, 77. So six deuce, 1977. The East whole neighborhood became a year East later Coast. East Coast. A year later, East Coast became. Give us an original roll call of the six deuces. Six deuces. <laughs> you got Big Bub, you got Snow, you got myself, uh, Casper, Lime, Sad. Uh, who else we had? We had uh, Big D. Man, this is your Big Oscar. Big Mark, Big Pounds. Oh, Fox, Big Fox. Uh, who else, man? There's a lot of them. Some of them, a lot of them are missing today, man. You know, I get rest in peace. So before 1977, what gang was in that area? What gang was in that area? They was Eastside experts. Eastside experts. Who were they? Well, they were. They were our older, like our older. Brothers and you know family members, you know they were they cast these cats in their like mid sixties right now. Uh, they was yeah they they were formed East, uh, East Side Experts, Big Onion, uh, uh, Moon, Peace uh Worm. You had Duck, my brother KK. You know uh, who else? We had a few other brothers that was that I can't remember their names right now. Ricky Miller. Landy Miller, no. Oh, what was that cross streets? They were right there, same streets. 59, San Pedro, 59, 60th, 61st, 62nd, you know. So who brought Crip into that neighborhood? Well, let's see. <laughs> I can't rightly say who brought it there, but it just came. It, when it came, it came and pushed all the rest of them. You know, they, like I said, they were older cats and they was in the hustling. They wasn't gang members, though, you know what I mean? But they were there, and they had a, they were they were a group. So you know you know how that goes. When you're a group in the black community, you're a gang. So, what block was the first East Coast? Who turned East Coast first? It was it was a combination six do six eight and six nine the six pack. And then after the, and then we after all came together. We all formed came together and formed East Coast when we all unified when Raymond. Raymond suggested we unify and we became East Coast. So the six pack turned East Coast 1978. Yeah. Then followed by 8 9. By 8 9. When, yeah. when does 5 9 and 1st Street and all that come into play? Uh, first, Street, first Street came into play uh, like a couple of years later. Uh, I would like to think it was on behalf of my my intervention because uh, we used to go, to, go down there to, uh, we had a homeboy in the community that that grew up down there so we used to go down there and so one a few times we went down there and there were some parties and they didn't want to let us in the party so you know we tore it up and uh so one time i was down there and, and this big family i don't know how like seven brothers and uh they came out and uh challenged me and i fought like five or six of them you know one at a time and just you know just put them away and from that point all the all the young the young ones because the older brothers was brims back in the day. So all those younger cats was like, man, we want to be with them. And that's how first we came out, you know. And then uh, five nine. Here's our five five nine. Let me tell you something about five nine, man. Five nine. It, that was my block. Uh, I moved there from from uh, from Camp Rocky. I was released from Camp Rocky, moved on 59th Place between Hooper and Compton Avenue, and. Uh, Prior to that, those they were East Side Outlaws. East Side Outlaws. Yeah, that community right there, Bethune Park. Sixty Laws. Sixty Laws. Yeah. So when I come over there, I came over. I brought this Crippin with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and from that point, it was all about Crippin over there. Me, cause Lala lived over on that area too. He lived on Cross Compton Avenue. You know, and so uh, yeah. So him and my little brother was running, man. They was about the same age. So uh, my, me and my family brought Crippen to that area, and some years later, they formed Five Nine East Coast. That was like, oh man.
I was like 77. I was like, yeah, 77. I was originally from Camp Rock. Moved over there. What, what, what years were the 60 Outlaws up and running at the Thune Park? No, uh, um, early 70s. Like, I was playing uh, Little League. Little, we was playing with the Shaft Athletic League at the Thune Park. They had you know, athletic leagues in all the county parks going on. So it was like from 71, 72, 73, I was eligible to play to, to like, uh, you know, you got to a certain age, you had to, you know, move up, go to another school or another uh, park. Because they didn't have uh, the higher level uh, top runner there. Uh, so, yeah, the laws were there. They used to chase us home because I was living on 59th Place in Avalon. And you don't have those big industrial alleys between us. And they used to chase us through the alleys back home after practice, you know, and run us, on, run us back across, the, you know, our, our, our race, our tracks. Right? So when you converted the area into Crips, was there any outlaw resistance? No, none. It just... Did any of the outlaws turn Crips or East Coast? Pretty much. And so there is a Some of the young ones, some of the young ones, you know, some of the young ones that was claiming, they was kind of young when the laws was there, but they was kind of claiming. But, you know, they, they, they became Crips, man. You know, everybody joined, joined that Crip nation you know, when they came over there. So was, was there a gang over there called the Thune Park Boys, or it's always 60 outlaws? <laughs> Thune Park Boys wasn't really a gang. It was, you know, they had some, you know, a few, few cats that hung out in the park on a daily basis. You know what I mean? They wasn't really a gang, but they, they all part of this co East Coast, right now. the Five Nine East Coast. Uh, tell us how Seven Six came in. Oh, the Shack Boys. <laughs> they were the Shack Boys, and uh, 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 you know, I used, to, I used to, we used to run into them at, at like some of them went to Edison with me. And uh, we used to run into them with them and uh, meet up with them sometimes. Sometimes we had battles, you know, but basically they were, they were pretty cool cats, you know. Crip, uh, uh, you know, Crab Baby Sal and, and uh, 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 Too Cool, you know, a few other young cats, you know. And uh, they, they came into the, you know, they came into play because, you know, the east side was the east side, man. You know, they were pretty close to the eight nines, too, you know, so you, you were going into, the eight nine hood, you would pass them. So what year did the uh, seven six Shack Boys turn East Coast? They came. Uh, they came in a few years after we uh, we had initially formed the formed the gang. Uh, 78, 79, somewhere around in there. Um, yeah, we was we you know we we went to Edison together, some of us. And uh, like I said, when you going to going to eight nine, you had to go past them, you know. And uh, so they were kind of, you know, close by. Who were the big names in 76 at that time? You had uh, Too Cool, Crybaby Sal, Kool-Aid, uh, uh, Jimbo. Uh, come on, man. You got a bunch of that I can't even bring to my head right now. But it was a bunch of brothers from over there that still, we still could good to this day. Was there a meeting to bring them in or just? Yeah, it was always a meeting. You know, it's, you you know, you always have to, you know, uh, uh, meet to accept from somebody. You you can't just walk in and just say I'm I'm you know I'm we we are uh, we claiming this. You know what I'm saying? That we couldn't allow that. Then you know. So this East Coast domino effect throughout the East Side was Raymond there for the full effect, or he just kicked off the six pack and he walked kicked away. It off. Uh, he wasn't there for the full effect because he died a few years later. He was killed, um, and uh, you know, and he just kept growing. So he was just there for the conversion of the six pack, and then and six pack other, took a, it from there. A few other neighborhoods came in before he before he got killed. Yeah. When does Q one hundred two and eleven eight come in? Well, see, Left Mace, Left Mace came in. Uh, me and PP, we went down there, and uh, we met with G Man and some of the brothers. Me and him, and uh, you know, I. I I asked them pretty much, you know, y'all, you know, we need, we want y'all to be part of this coast game, and uh, they accepted, and uh, you know, everything. It was, Q, and P like P was from Q, mm -hmm. big P P, you know, he was from Q, and uh, you know, he brought them in, you know, and brought them down. He used to bring them down to on, to the, you know, nine to introduce, you know, introduce them. We meet up, you know, and we we accepted, you know, because they. 
you know, they was these siders and, you know, they had they had a, a nice reputation for, you know, doing what they do. Uh, it's my understanding Lil James and Raymond was real tight. You know about that? Yeah, yeah. They was yeah, tight? Yeah. Did you know damn, Johnny Ray? Johnny Ray? Yeah. Low riding Johnny Ray? I don't know if he low ride. He stayed over there on, on Town Ave and 102nd. Q102. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah from Q, yeah. Let me ask you this. Were the uh, six nines ever Shaq boys? Yes, they were. They were. Yeah, they were. Before they turned Crip. Well, you know, that's what Shaq boys and Crips. They mm -hmm. just, you know, had before, before, actually before the Crips really came into the community, you know, you, you had little groups. Because at one point, we were like, like I said, we were living off the off Avalon, you know, before we became Six Deuces. We had a few shacks that we used to hang out in. So we were, you know, pretty much Shack Boys too. You know, the name Shack Boy come from, you know, we had little, little baking houses and that was our shack. And that's how we hung out. And so we were Shack Boys too, you know what I'm saying? So, but we was Crips. You know, we never really put put Shack Boys out there as our, you know, as our group. But yeah. So Shack Boys is like a generic term yes you know we just hanging out in you know we we hanging out in shacks